Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita. In today's video, we are going to solve the example number two of share valuation of shares by fair value method. So this is the example on the screen. The following is the balance sheet of Camelin Limited, Chennai, as on 31st December 2019. So this is the balance sheet. Assets and liabilities are given. In assets, freehold premises fifty thousand, machinery seventy thousand, furniture fourteen thousand, stock in trade twenty thousand, book debts forty four thousand, uh, bank balance twenty six thousand, formation expenses two thousand, and the total of the assets are given. Then in liabilities, share capital is given, issued and subscribed ten thousand equity shares of ten rupee ten rupees each, fully paid one lakh, uh, reserve fund fifty thousand, profit and loss sixteen thousand, creditors forty five thousand, bills payable fifteen thousand, and total of liabilities. Now there are some additional information provided. So in additional information. uh assets are valued as under okay so this assets in the balance sheets are of book value but here the assets are revalued so goodwill 44000 freehold premises 130000 machinery 72000 furniture 24000 stock in trade 25000 debtors 39000 Next is what the profit of the company amounted to. So three years profit is given. Two thousand seventeen profit is forty five thousand. Two thousand eighteen the profit is forty nine thousand. Two thousand nineteen the profit is fifty thousand. Next additional information point number three is it is the practice of the company to transfer one fourth of the profit to reserve fund. Next point is the fair yield. in respect of equity share of similar type of company is asserted at 10% so this 10% is what normal rate of return now find out the value of each equity share under fair value method now see what is fair value method fair value method is basically what the average of net asset and yield based method okay so to find the fair value of the shares okay means uh, find the fair value uh, find the valuation of the shares by fair value method first of all you need to find the net asset method and then yield based method okay so and then whatever is the answer of net asset and yield based take the average so you will get the fair value method okay so now solution first uh, as i said that a uh, fair value method is what the average of both the methods net and yield based so first of all we'll find the net asset method so to find net asset method there are total three steps first is computation of total net asset then computation of fund available for equity share and computation of intrinsic value of each equity share okay so now in computation of total net asset take the total assets now the total asset which value you will take the assets which are revalued assets okay so first is what goodwill How much is goodwill? Forty-four thousand. Goodwill is forty-four thousand. The value which the assets which are revalued take that value. So goodwill is forty-four thousand. Next is freehold premises. Freehold premises in the balance sheet it is given fifty thousand, but the assets are valued. So take the New value which is revalued, so one lakh thirty thousand. Freehold premises, freehold premises, one lakh thirty thousand. Next is machinery. Machinery is how much? Seventy two thousand. Machinery seventy two thousand. Machinery seventy two thousand. After machinery, 
फर्निचर्स फर्निचर्स आर ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजंड फर्निचर्स ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजंड आफ्टर फर्निचर्स स्टॉक इन ट्रेड स्टॉक इन ट्रेड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजंड स्टॉक इन ट्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजंड स्टॉक इन ट्रेड इज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजंड नेक्स्ट इज डेटर्स डेटर्स आर थर्टी नाइन थाउजंड डेटर्स थर्टी नाइन थाउजंड थर्टी नाइन थाउजंड आफ्टर डेटर्स नेक्स्ट इज बैंक बैलेंस ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजंड बैंक बैलेंस ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजंड नाउ एड ऑल दिस एसेट्स द टोटल विल बी थ्री लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड थ्री लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज द टोटल ऑफ वॉट द टोटल ऑफ द एसेट नाउ फ्रॉम दिस टोटल एसेट लेस द लाइबिलिटीज ओके लेस वॉट लाइबिलिटीज दिस लाइबिलिटीज आर वॉट external liabilities outside liabilities so liabilities you will get in the balance sheet in the liability side so creditors and bills payables are the external liabilities so creditors are how much 45000 and bills payables are 15000 creditors and creditors 45000 and bills payable bills payable 15000 so 45000 plus 15000 60000 okay 60000 is the total of the liabilities now from 3 lakh 60000 less 60000 the remaining amount is 3 lakhs so this 3 lakhs is what our total assets so total uh, net asset is how much 3 lakh rupees so 3 lakh 60000 the total of uh, assets and 60000 is the total of liabilities so 3 lakh 60000 minus 60000 the total net asset is remaining 3 lakh rupees okay so step 1 we completed now step 2 is what computation of what computation of funds available for equity shares so for computation of funds available for equity share what is the formula total net asset minus preference share capital okay or preferential proposed uh, dividend whatever so now total uh, net asset how much total net asset we got 3 lakh rupees so total net asset is 3 lakh rupees now from this less what less preference share capital so now in the balance sheet check is there any preference share capital no there are no preference share capital hence the preference share capital will be what nil so then what is the remaining amount 3 lakh rupees is the remaining amount so 3 lakhs is what fund available for equity shares so now step number 2 we got step number 2 fund available for equity share as 3 lakh rupees now third step is what computation of intrinsic value of each equity share so what is the formula formula is what fund available for equity share divided by number of equity share so now in step number 2 we got the value of fund available for equity shares holder so how much is the value 3 lakh rupees is the value so 3 lakhs divided by what number of equity share now in the balance sheet you will see under share capital issued and subscribed capital so how much is the equity share 10000 are the equity shares okay 10000 are the number of equity shares and what is the equity share capital 10000 multiply by 10 
will get 1 lakh rupees so 1 lakh rupees is what equity share capital but here what they asked only number of equity shares so how much is the number of equity shares 10,000 are the number of equity share so 3 lakh rupees divided by 10,000 equity share the amount will be 30 so interesting value we got as rupees 30 so total net as the valuation of shares by net asset method is how much rupees 30 now second method second uh, is what yield based method yield based method so it is what we are going to solve it on profit basis so on profit basis first step is total how many steps are there four steps are there okay for the yield based method first step is what average a computation of average accepted future profit so to find average profit what is the formula total profit divided by number of years so in the question here they have given the company has earned a profit okay for three years so this is the profit for the continuous three years 45,000 49,000 and 50,000 so write down the profit 45,000 plus 45,000 plus 49,000 plus 50,000 okay and for how many years the profit is earned 3 years the profit is earned 2017, 18, 19 so 3 years the profit is earned so now add 45,000, 49,000 and 50,000 total will be 140, 1,44,000 thousand so one lakh forty four thousand is what a total profit now divide one lakh forty four thousand by three so total average profit is how much forty eight thousand okay clear now step number two step number two is what step number two is computation of future maintainable profit okay so step number two future maintainable profit so to find future maintainable profit uh, the formula is what average profit minus percentage transfer to reserve now how much uh, average profit we got average profit is what 48,000 so write 48,000 as the average profit average profit is uh, average profit is 48,000 minus percentage transfer to reserve now read the question see here in the third point okay it is said that it is the practice of the company to transfer one fourth of the profit to reserve fund how much profit they are transferring they are transferring one fourth of the profit okay one fourth they are transferring so one fourth percent of what uh, average profit so one fourth of forty eight thousand okay so one fourth of forty eight thousand is to be transferred to the reserve so that we have to reduce from what average profit so forty eight thousand is the average profit minus one fourth of forty eight thousand means forty eight thousand divided by four we will get twelve thousand one forty eight one fourth of to forty eight thousand will be what twelve thousand rupees so forty eight thousand minus twelve thousand remaining amount will be called as maintainable profit so remaining amount is thirty six thousand okay so step number two we got now third step is what computation of capitalized value of maintainable profit so the formula is what future maintainable profit divided by normal rate of return so future maintainable profit how much we got 36,000 okay 36,000 is the future maintainable profit divided by normal rate of return now see here in the question it is given point number four the fair yield in respect of each uh, of equity share of similar type of company is what 10 percent so 10 percent is what a normal rate of return so 10 percent so 36,000 multiply by 10 percent multiply by 100 so you will get 3 lakh 60,000 
ओके कैपिटलाइज वैल्यू ऑफ प्रॉफिट इज हाउ मच थ्री लैक सिक्सटी थाउजेंड ना नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज वॉट कंप्यूटेशन ऑफ इल्ड वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी ऑफ ईच इक्विटी शेयर ऑन द प्रॉफिट बेसिस वी आर फाइंडिंग यू कैन फाइंड इट बाई डिविडेंड बेसिस ऑल्सो फॉर डिविडेंड बेसिस यू नीड टू फाइंड वॉट रेट ऑफ डिविडेंड right so here we are not finding uh, the yield value of equity share by dividend basis we are finding it by profit basis so for profit basis the formula is what capitalized value of profit divided by number of equity shares so capitalized profit is how much 3 lakh 60000 okay 3 lakh 60000 is a capitalized value 3 lakh 60000 is a capitalized value of profit divided by number of equity shares so how many equity shares are there 10000 equity shares are there okay 10000 equity share divided by 10000 equity shares so how much will be there 3 lakh 60000 divided by 10000 rupees 36 ओके रुपीज थर्टी सिक्स सो वैल्युएशन ऑफ शेयर्स बाय इल्ड वैल्यू मेथ इल्ड बेस मेथड हाउ मच इज द वैल्यू ऑफ ईच इक्विटी शेयर थर्टी सिक्स रुपीज ओके ना नेक्स्ट इज वॉट बी मेन पॉइंट इज वॉट टू फाइंड अ फेयर वैल्यू मेथड वैल्युएशन ऑफ शेयर बाय फेयर वैल्यू मेथड सो एज आई सेड अर्लियर फेयर वैल्यू मेथड इज वॉट द एवरेज ऑफ नेट एसेट मेथड एंड इल्ड बेस मेथड डिवाइडेड बाय टू सो valuation of valuation of each equity shares as per fair value method formula is what intrinsic value plus yield value divided by 2 intrinsic value how much we got 30 rupees okay 30 rupees we got as intrinsic value so write 30 plus yield value how much is the yield value here only we got the yield value yield value is 36 rupees 30 is the intrinsic value and 36 rupees is the yield value now 30 plus 36 divided by 2 so 30 plus 36 is 66 rupees divided by 2 so the fair value of each equity share is how much 33 33 rupees okay so in this way you have to find the fair value method so the final answer is how much 33 rupees okay so hope you have understood this example it is very easy example to solve just you have to remember the steps and the formulas in that steps okay thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification